guys, it's Shelly here. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. I'm really excited to share a new book with you guys. Um, this book is called My, I think that's My Colouring World and it's Forest and Nature, I think. That's in German. I don't understand German, but I did try to Google Translate. And if I remember correctly, that was Forest and Nature. And it's a new colouring book by Rada Prince. Now, I think most of us will commonly uh, know her as Rada Prince, but that's um, the name of the artist. I don't want to... I don't want to mispronounce it, but I don't know if it's Rayhan, and then I can't pronounce that. Um, but there we go. That's the name of the artist. And she has been doing um, colouring pages for quite a while on Etsy, but as PDFs and usually as packs of um, um, illustrations that you can get. And she has got some Amazon books out as well. Um, but I've been admiring her work for absolutely ages and I've saved them on um on Etsy and I've been wanting to get them but as you guys know I like coloring in a book and so I've never managed to finally make a purchase of PDFs um, because I didn't have the right printing and I wanted them bound as a book and things like that so I was so excited when I knew that she was going to come out with a book and I've been waiting for this for absolutely ages and I found it on Blackwell's so it is available in Blackwell's um, if you guys do want to get a hold of it this is the ISBN number right there all right um, and yeah so I managed to get it on Blackwell's is not yet available in, on um, Amazon UK. Amazon UK is slow. Um, it tends to be quite delayed with some of the new books. So if you want to get it, uh, Blackwell's is the way or wait for it to come out on Amazon UK, which it will eventually come out on Amazon. Um, I'm not sure about Amazon US and other Amazons yet. I'm sure it must be out on Amazon Germ Germany. But um, yeah, I got it on Blackwell's. And I want to show you the book. So as always, I know some people like the chatty flip through. Some people like the um, quiet um, flip throughs, the quick flip throughs. So I've, I, I will add a quick flip through at the end of the video for those of you who do not want to hear the chat. Um, but just really quickly before I go through the book, I'm going to give you a few, a little bit of information about the book. Um, so that's the front cover. And that's the back cover. All right, beautiful. And I don't know if that's the publishers, EMF, possibly. I think that's the publishers, all right. And like I said, um, that's the artist's name. And most of us will know her as Rada Prince. So her Amazon books are um, sold as Rada Prince, all right. Um, and it is a stitch bound and a glue bound book. As you can see, they're in little sections. Yeah, the paper is um bright white smooth it has a little bit of texture actually and it, i would say it's medium to thin consistency and i was trying to figure out um what book i can describe it um sort of match it up to and i think i would say it's similar to these um uh, low mart books um so the smoothness as well as the thickness possibly if anything ever so slightly thinner so similar to that, all right, um, just in case you guys have one of those uh, low mart books by Stratton Peterson. Um, so it is, it isn't super thick paper, but it seems like it's going to be really nice for the pencils. And for those of you who like alcohol markers, it's single sided. Um, they have little tiny motifs on the other side of the page. But if you don't mind losing those, then you can use your alcohol markers on these pages, which I think the kind of illustrations they are. It's going to be beautiful for alcohol markers, all right? At the beginning of the book, you have the colored um, first few pages, and it gives you some tutorials on blending and um, the color wheel. All of it is in German, and so you can use Google Translate to translate that, and it's just showing you how to layer up as well. So you know how I got, how I always explain that I layer up with like three shades of greens, like a dark, a medium and a light tone. And then you can add other shades of other colors to give you a bit of depth to your shadow. So I think that's what that one is doing about light sourcing. So it gives you a good few little bits of um, tips and tricks for your coloring. And then it goes into the book. And I absolutely love Rada Prince um, style. I love her line art. I feel like it's so 
curvy it's so dreamy um and so relaxing so easy on the eyes to look at and the illustrations in this book are beautiful so i have seen some of her amazon um books and i felt they were a bit simpler for me but this book here has quite a bit of detail yes you have some simpler pages um so i'll just show you um some simpler pages like that and then you have some slightly busier pages um like that which is absolutely beautiful you have water themes you have woodland themes um i absolutely love this and then you have some of the little ones where a lot of you guys nowadays absolutely love those little tiny illustrations where is it let me show you like this where she's added a page not that many maybe three or four where there's a few um little motifs to color in you can practice your coloring on them um now i don't usually gravitate towards these kind of pages but the way she draws i absolutely love them i think they're beautiful and there's one which i really really liked which is i think sort of coloring themed for us colorists where is it it's probably later in the book i won't even know because i did such a quick flip through and then i was like oh i want to just show it to you guys and then i'll sit down again and probably flip through it again um that one look at that guys beautiful isn't it so yeah it's got a good mix of simple and busy pages and yeah i think i'll just get through the to the flip through and yeah let me know what you guys think i was so excited about this book and i'm not disappointed now i haven't seen any flip throughs on youtube yet i did see Rada prince do her own quick um flip through on instagram though so you can always check out her um page on instagram and um yeah you'll be able to see the book so for those of you who want a quiet flip through you can uh, fast forward um and i'll do it to music but uh, for those of you who want to sit with me as i look through these pages then um yeah stay with me all right so these are the first few pages of the little tutorials And we go into the pages and I actually really like that she puts the little illustrations there. Um, they're so cute and it's something from, it relates to something on this page. So for example, that little bunny is right there. Um, so yeah, you don't have to save that if you don't want to, you can use it as a one-sided book. All right. And the illustrations are just beautiful. It's, it's my kind of theme with uh, woodland and nature and scenes and everything I love. Look at that, guys. And it's quite simplistic in that if you don't like a super detailed page, yes, you some of them are busy, but they're simple. They look quite simple to tackle. So there's quite a bit of um, simpler elements, like just all the trees. Like if you break it down, it's not that difficult to tackle them. So it may look like a busy page, but I think it's cool, going to be such relaxing colouring. I love this. I don't know why, but something about the style of line art, it just draws me right in. I just love the curvy style. I like curves. It, I love this curvy style of um, drawing. It's just so relaxing, like so easy on the eyes. There's no harsh lines. I don't, I don't know how to explain it but it's not very linear um and perfect it's just so nice and flowy <laughs> i love this i actually love a lot of the illustrations in this book look at that how cozy is that so i think her previous books that she has done is like cozy spaces um relaxing books like her her artwork seems to be focused on trying to get the person who's coloring her pages to relax and sort of take a deep breath and chill, basically. That's what I get from her, the feeling I get from the illustrations, um, which is a really nice feeling. That's what we should be coloring for, isn't it? Just that me time, just that slow down, slow down for a little while, um, recharge yourself. And that's what I feel from her illustrations. Look at that tree house, so lovely. Um, so she's done, like I said, she's done some cozy spaces sort of um, books. I think she has portraits as well. Um, I won't remember all the books because I don't have any in my collection. But I'm so glad she's come out with this book. I love this as well. How how beautiful is that? It's just, it's like an outdoor little garden. Outside your house, a little space for your painting. It just looks so serene to me. 
dreamy so so um yeah that's nice mushrooms we have mushrooms in this book we have we have books we have um yeah lots of like woodland and we have animals i was going to say woodland animals but i've seen some um tropical animals as well when i did my quick flip but i just love these it looks a little bit simpler for my like i usually go for very busy pages but this is perfect it's just i love that there's a little scene there that you can create look at that i'd probably do that as a nighttime scene because i guess because of the owl not sure why i think nighttime but i really like that we have the little lights there candles lanterns look at that it's so such a simple page but it just looks so beautiful lovely she colors her florals really nice too her animals really nice so you have some pages where you can do background effects if you'd like i didn't show you the size of the book i'll show it to you after the flip through lovely i like that so you have exteriors interiors you have the actual woodlandy scenes you have the underwater scenes that's going to be beautiful when colored in you can make that so bright if you want yeah i don't know i think basically the way i can exp i can describe this book to you like the sense i'm getting from it is just so it's even just flipping through it i just feel so relaxed and so calm um that's the kind of feeling i'm getting from these illustrations i love this page look at the number of mushrooms <laughs> i like that the little bee and the ladybug and the snail beautiful it's like a sense of calm and safe places and yeah just this is really nice i like this idea i think i've seen this sort of an idea in april's book as well um she has a similar scene like with a suitcase and i'm sure there's lots of artists that have this sort of idea but i absolutely love it really nice another night scene you can do it as serenity camping there you go serene see that's what that's the feeling i'm getting from this book um so another uh oh i showed you this one didn't i the little motifs that you can color so a lot of you who like doing just one little uh, piece of coloring for five ten minutes a day you have some of those pages in this book i would actually color these ones in this book i really like them as you guys know i don't tend to gravitate towards them but in this book i for some reason really like how she's drawn them a paper swan maybe really nice so that can be water you can make these really colorful you can go for a limited color palette you guys know the route i'm probably going to go lots of color right <laughs> that's nice forest haven see even the names that she's put there just seem so yeah calm and nice I like that yes she's got a kitchen scene but this way she has drawn it the point of view is like it's cut um and i just love that she's got these plants and everything curling around it so it's not just the interior kitchen scene that you're looking at there's lots of other stuff to color right. beautiful a greenhouse lovely i like coloring leaves you guys know that i find it so relaxing so i don't mind having so many leaves to color and it'd be so nice trying to come up with different color combinations to just bring a bit of interest to this page because there's so many leaves there this one i absolutely love it even though it's a little little um illustrations to color i just really like the way she's drawn it like 
it's sort of like it's connected here as well. Oh, I really like how she's done it. So what do we have? We have a paint palette with paint brushes. We've got a camera. We've got pencils. We've got some a beautiful pair of scissors there. Paint. And the way she colors the paint, like look at the swirls that she puts into everything. Ink, um, a book. That could be journaling. Um, washi tape. Very nice. This one I absolutely love because of the music theme to it. I used to play the violin. I wish I never stopped. Love this page. Really like that. It's nice. So I'm quite excited. I hope she does come out with new books. I know this has literally just come out. Um, it's a very new book, but I'm already excited to see what else she brings for us. And I hope she does continue to bring some nice, um, beautiful books like this for us. I absolutely adore her style. I don't know why I didn't. I know why I didn't jump for the PDFs. It's because I like coloring in books, as I've mentioned so many times before. I barely ever color in PDFs. Um, and... Um, and that's why I didn't jump for it, but I was so close to it. It's actually in my basket, some of her PDFs. And then when she, when I saw that she was coming out with the book, I'm like, okay, hold off now. Let's see the book. And I'm so excited. I'm so glad that I waited because I absolutely adore this book. I know there's going to be so many hours of joy coloring this book, relaxation, coloring this book. Look at that. I love that this, you know, sort of, it's not really a frame, but it's like within a shape, um, the way quite a few of the illustrations are done. You don't have to worry about doing an entire, filling up the entire page as a background. Um, so even the ones which are not really framed, I love how she's done the waves there. So even this one, so it's not um, framed, but I feel like you don't need to fill up the entire page with the background. Um, you can put a little bit of hints if you wanted of color, or just color the illustration itself and it'll still look beautiful. So I like that her pages are not really shouting for, I need a background, I need you to add elements because I can't add elements. I'm not, I cannot draw. Um, so it's nice to feel that I can look at a page and say, yeah, it's complete. I don't need to add anything. I don't need to worry too much about a background. Um, and it's still gonna look lovely. I love this and I love the old style telephone there. So lovely. I know I keep saying lovely, but um, it really is. Beautiful scene. I'm trying to see. So we have a little river here. To me, it looks like it's in the clouds, but I think it's um, trees, right? Trees and bushes. So it's like the buildings are sort of popping through the trees, possibly, rather than the clouds. But you could, you know, um, translate it the way you want. Another underwater scene. Florals, beautiful. I like that as well. I, yeah, I like a lot of the pages. <laughs> Probably stop saying that. Um, yeah, that's nice. Again, I see it as a night scene, probably because I've seen a moon there and a little lantern there, but I think this would look nice with a dark background inside. Really like this as well. I think I really like it because I love coloring wood. There's a lot of like trees and wooden um, exteriors and interiors to color. And I love coloring leaves. I find that quite relaxing. So this entire book looks so just, easy coloring for me insects the little motifs again so that's nice i don't know if i would be able to differentiate everything i know that's a ladybug a dragonfly butterfly and moth i don't like i don't know but you can look them up you can do it the way you want these are different kinds of mo um different kinds of moths you can look up beetles lovely it just looks like such a calm scene isn't it relaxing i don't know i would do like a sunset for this one 
Yeah. I see a sunset for this one. An underwater world. I ex Looking at this page, I would expect to see like the little mermaid or something here. I don't, but um, it's lovely, really nice. A nice simpler page. I love how she draws her florals, yeah. Beautiful. That is a wonderful page as well. Really like this. And I like that, again, as you guys know, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of very tiny details. So the fact that her flowers, for example, are quite large, all the swirls that she puts in and all, you can put your blending and layering and effects, shadows and highlights and just play around with your colors rather than be stuck on tiny elements and not be able to do much um, effects with your coloring pens or pencils. Um, so yeah, I really like that her line art is not so teeny tiny. You have the tiny elements, some some elements that are a bit small, but not so small that you can't color. I love this as well. And I love that she has like the foliage and stuff and the wooden uh, elements to it. I know it's, like I said, uh, forest and woodland, did I say? Like nature, nature. But she has water elements in a lot of the pages as well. I just really like that. It's like zen, you know? It's hard to explain, but yeah. Is this like a gardening shed, maybe? Outside, nice. Another water theme. Love it. I really like this. Looking up at a window with the little teeny tiny balcony there. I really like this and the hints of it being a wall like a cop like stone stone wall I like this <laughs> little tiger there toucan is that a toucan maybe like it really like this now, some of these, a page like this does remind me of sort of of um, illustrations that Johanna Basford might do. However, Johanna Basford tends to make them a lot tinier and a lot of empty space, which doesn't usually vibe with me. Like her art style is beautiful, but it's not the kind of line art I enjoy to color. But this, look at it, like she's filled up the backspace with things to color. I don't need to worry about the background. The, the flowers are large enough to do some beautiful colors and effects on them. Um, and there's so much going on that um, the artist has done the work for us and we just need to splash it with color. And I like that sort of style of coloring book because, yeah, I, I can't draw. So I don't want to worry about so much empty space and it just looks complete to me. It doesn't look like there's just a car there and now I need to draw things in. This looks so beautiful to me. I just love this. I see a blue car, I don't know why. We'll see when I come to color that page. Again, look, a little bit of a water element there as well. More mushrooms for us. I've been coloring so many mushrooms. Every time my husband walks past me um, at my desk and sees a page open, he's like, mushrooms again? I'm like, yeah, we're in the autumn season. What do you expect? It's gonna be mushrooms for the next couple of months now. Beautiful. Another motifs page, so see? There are some tropical animals, um, the water animals, polar bear there. It's really nice. These little pages are a nice touch. Love this as well. Beautiful scene. Can try and do water ref uh, reflections in the water here. This. Again, yeah, this was the one when I looked at it. It reminded me of one of Johanna Basswood's where I think she has a little van like this, which is open and might have some flower pots or something. I don't have any of Johanna Basswood's book, but I feel like I've seen a lot of people color it. That's why it comes to my mind. But I don't think she has much else going on on the page. Whereas this to me looks so complete with the trees in the background and a little bit of details on the front. So it looks more like something I would gravitate to where it's to color and not worry about it looking a bit 
empty when I'm done. This is beautiful. I love it. I really like this, actually. I don't know which page I'll colour first. Um, I actually adore all of them. And that's the last page, guys. I wanted it to go on and on. But lots of pages there for us to colour. I think it's oh, 50, possibly 50. I can't understand everything, but I'm assuming that's the number 50 there. So it's, I'm going to say 50. 50 pages, 50 illustrations. It can't be 25. Yeah, possibly 50. What do you guys think? I absolutely love this book. Um, I don't own any of her artwork. And like I said, I've been waiting to get my hands on something done by her. And I always look at them on Amazon and I'm like, do I want it? But it's Amazon book. And then I look at her, the Etsy and finally she's come out with this stunning book. And I'm so glad it's in my hands. Like I said, I got it from Blackwell's um, here in the UK. I think they do they do free shipping. So if you did want to get a hold of it, you can. Um, just once again, that's the ISBN. Yeah. And um, I'm sure it must be available on Amazon. I can see it on Amazon UK. It just says, um, basically, you can't order it yet on Amazon UK. Things that seem to be quite delayed. It might be there on the other Amazons. And just for size-wise, this is an A4 book. And it's a little bit smaller. A bit narrower than an A4 book and a little bit shorter. So it's a slightly smaller book, but um, got so many beautiful pages there, yeah? And yeah, there we go, guys. So that is My Colouring World, Forest and Nature by, I'm going to say Rada Prince, but um, I'll have the name in the description box below. Rayhan, and I can't pronounce the surname right there. All right. Beautiful book. Let me know what you guys think. Um, am I, um, yeah, I don't think I'm mistaken about how much I love it, actually. But let me see what you guys think. I would love to know your uh, your take on this, uh, on this book. Um, I'll leave you guys to it. For those of you, I'm sure you guys are not here, but I'm going to have um, a quick flip through now at the end to music uh, for those of uh, those people who didn't want to hear the chat. All right, guys, I'll see you in my next video. So take care and thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.